welcome back for another video. I'm Jess and I'm one of the creative designers here at Sizzix. Today I am super excited to share with you some brand new Eileen Hall dies and some inspiration. So I am going to be showing you guys, yes, another wedding make, <laughs> but I'm in that phase and I wanted to show you guys how to make this gorgeous wedding planner uh, using the new uh, Biggs Scoreboard Plus die, which is the frame pocket, pocket journal um, by Eileen Hull. Um, so I'm going to show you tips and tricks of how to put it together using our lovely mat board. And then I'm going to show you guys how to kind of fill it with some of these extra pages and things and these pockets and have a lot of fun personalizing it. And I'm going to show you loads of different examples using this die, how you can change up your journals, what you can use them for, how you can personalize them. And I'll show you all of that good inspiration uh, towards the end of the video as well. So stick around for that. But to get started, I'm going to pop this over here. We're going to take this out. So this is the Scoreboard Plus die uh, by Eileen Hall. So this is the frame pocket journal. So as I said, this is a plus die. So it's an A4 size die and it is a big die. So you're going to need one of our machines that are A4 size and the scissors machines are great because they have that wide opening to work with those thicker big dies. Okay. And the big die means that you can cut thicker materials like your fabrics, leather, metal sheets, um, multiple layers of cardstock, and of course your mat board. So that's what I'm going to be using for our journal today. And this is the mat board. It's like a really nice soft white. It's really smooth. I think how many sheets you get? Six sheets in there. Um, and they're a really nice size, really nice thickness, and they're great for making really nice sturdy journals and they work beautifully with these scoreboard dies. So what I've actually done is I've prepped some of my cardstock already. Um, so there's two ways you can kind of cover your journals. You can either make it up with your mat board and then uh, piece it all together the, then die cut your uh, colored cardstock and stick that on top or what you can do is you can spray mount cardstock onto your mat board already and then you can run it through your machine and it means that it's already stuck to the layer to the mat board and you've got the color already there so I popped this lovely shiny white um, ivory cardstock on the onto my mat board using some just spray adhesive uh, you could do it on both sides as well I'm leaving my other side blank so I'm doing a wedding theme so a bit of white is okay um, and I'm just going to trim it down and you can see it cuts really nicely with scissors as well but it is really sturdy so I'm going to move this to one side and then I'm going to place this down onto the largest section of the die is this kind of rectangular section with those scoreboard um, elements now this uh, mat board it is ever slightly too small for the largest piece, but don't panic because you can just measure it up to that far side and the only bit that it's going to slightly cut off is a little bit of the tab. I've made all my examples this way with this same mat board, they work perfectly and you're going to see how it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So I'm going to pop this in between my plates. So you just want the two clear plates. This platform we don't need for now because we're not doing any cutting with thinlets. And I'm just going to roll that through my machine. Okay, if you want to, you can go back over some sections, but with the Big Shot Plus, it works really nicely. And when we click that out, we're going to want this section, okay? And you can see how it's cut a little bit off that tab, but it's not hindered the way that the die works or anything like that. It's still going to work really, really nicely. So I'm going to pop that to one side, get rid of my excess. And you could even just use a die pick and pop out those holes like so. So you've got that main piece there. So this is the piece that we're going to work with. And we want two of those. No matter what you're making, you're going to want two. So I've already pre-cut another one here with that shiny element on the front and it's just plain on the back. Okay. 
You can also make this as thick or as thin as you want, depending on those score lines. So you can fold along the first score line and have a really skinny uh, journal, fold on the second one, have a medium or the thickest one, um, and just fold over the tab and you go for the thick journal. For wedding planning, I think we need the thick one. We're gonna put loads of stuff in there um, as we're planning. So I'm gonna go for the thick one. So I'm gonna fold over that tab section. And I'm going to fold over there so we've got the, the spine of our journal. I'm going to do the same with the other one and fold along those score lines, okay? Like so. Don't worry if the cardstock comes off of the tab section, we're not going to see that anyway, okay? So we're going to end up gluing them like this, okay? So I'm going to glue them together using my hot glue gun. So I'm going to bring that in. And you can do this with double-sided tape, but I do find a glue gun works fantastic. And all you need to do is to make it slightly less bulky if you're using a glue gun, just peel off on that tab section, the top layer, you can peel off the cardstock that you've adhered and the top layer of the mat board, and it makes it slightly thinner for you to glue along. And it just means it's slightly less bulk on that secured tab section where you're gonna glue, okay? Just makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna glue along here. Just run that all along there. And then secure that in place and give it a firm press. I do suggest using a hot glue or a really strong double-sided tape. Don't want to be using like uh, PVA or anything like that. You're going to be spending ages waiting for it to dry. This is way quicker and it just means that it's really nice and secure. So we've got that main section. Now we can add the tab. So that is also on the die piece and I've already actually pre-cut it. So it just sits here Okay, and I've actually pre-cut mine and I've adhered cardstock to both sides of this. So I've got a gorgeous heart pattern on the one side and a nice blue on the other. So obviously work to your colour schemes uh, for whatever you're making. If you're making a wedding planner, work to your wedding planning uh, colours. Um, but then I'm going to pop that just on here. So I'm going to place that like so. Okay, so we just pop that on so we've got our tab section so that's going to work with our closure. Um, how I like to close these, it's completely up to you. You can add like a little button and you can do elastic from the middle section and you can tie it around. I'll show you some examples of that later. Uh, you could have a wrap that goes all the way around. What I like to do on some of mine is I like to pop some magnets on. So I'm just going to grab these from underneath here. So I've just got a selection of little popper magnets and these work really, really nicely. They're normally made for fabric, but um, I like to use them for these. So you can just pop them. If they're flat, you can glue them straight on um, and you don't have to worry about these extra little bits. If you have got these extra bits, then we can just um, pop it through or we can bend them down. So for this one, I might just bend them down because I don't want it to see, I don't want to see it through the other side and we can secure that in place with a bit of hot glue. So just on the inside of that tab there. Okay. And then if you want to tuck these little bits in, you can just fold it over, see where those markings end up. So I've got some really faint markings in there now. And what I like to do is I like to just pop um, faint markings. They're probably not, probably too faint there. <laughs> Let's do that again. There we go. I'd like to take my craft knife and just pop a couple of slots through there. Carefully with your fingers, as always, if we're using a craft knife. 
swap that through and then we can fold these over on the other side so again just carefully your fingers and then you have that closure if you feel like it doesn't fully uh, align don't worry you can pop these back open and then you can change the um the alignment of it but it should be pretty set okay so once you've got that section all sorted we want to think about the inside and the front cover so I'm going to do the inside first so I've got loads of different elements to add um, to the inside so first I want to think about this section here so I want to cover up this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some um, pattern paper and obviously depending on what you want to add, how many pages you want to add, how much decoration. That's the beauty of journaling. It is completely up to you and it's completely um, personal. So you do whatever you want to do, okay? So we're just going to pop that. And what I did with this piece, um, I actually die cut it from that die so I knew it was the perfect size and then I just trimmed off the spine. So that's a really great way of covering your journal with coloured cardstock after you've made it if you didn't want to adhere the cardstock to your mat board to begin with. So we've got that lovely um, bit there. Um, and now we can add some pages. So what I've actually done is I've got a little notebook here and it came like this with a brown cover on. Um, I didn't like the brown cover so I took that off and I made my own um, dark blue cover and I'm literally just going to hot glue that on as well. So just along that spine. And press that in. So that's going to sit at the back of my journal. I'm going to attach that with some uh, elastic in a second. But there's another way that you can add pages to your journal and that's just by taking cardstock. So I've just folded cardstock, a piece of A4 cardstock, three ways. Um, again, in the colour, this is the Arctic Sky colour um, that I've used on some parts of the journal. And I'm going to use those in these kind of sections. One thing that I am going to add to it though is there's another Eileen Holdai that's pretty pretty new with um, her chapter one collection and this is the library pocket um, ATC card die. Uh, ATC cards are kind of coming back around, they're artist trading cards and you can do swaps and pop whatever creativity you want to on each card um, and it comes with like a little pocket for your ATC card and it comes with these little tab sections as well. I'm actually going to use the tab sections, I'm going to use the ATC for something else um, but I just wanted to call out everything that's kind of on there and I believe if you sign up to Eileen Hull's Facebook um, fan club she's currently um, she might be doing a ATC swap with some of her um, fans her followers so I'm sure you can head on over and get involved and see some inspiration from that um, she pops a load of inspiration up on her fan club um, her and other makers they're all fantastic so definitely go and follow and I believe she does lives on a YouTube and Facebook every Tuesday and Thursday so make sure you check that out as well um, so I've actually cut some of them out I'm just going to cut these out so they're little tabs you could also use these as hinges um, I'm going to bring back my platform because we're using thinlets now okay and you can see how easily that cuts and you can use these as little hinges on um, book pages or cards or anything like that but I'm going to use them as little tabs on mine and I'm going to glue them just to the top so obviously if you're wedding planning you're going to have certain sections um, for your planning stages uh, so that might be I don't know your guest list and your budgets and your outfits <laughs> and things like that so you can section things off in this sense but then you've also got your little note section um, at the back as well so I'm just going to adhere some of these tabs and then you can fill these with whatever you want um, on each page so I'm just going to do a few of them but just so you get the idea but how cute is that just a little tab on each bit and you can have them staggered so you can see uh, what's kind of sitting where. Okay, so I'm just going to pop one more on here. 
Okay, and now we want to attach everything. So you can do that in two ways. I've got ribbon and elastic here. So this is like an elasticated cord. You can get this from any craft shop, fabric shop online, or you could use a ribbon. Now, obviously you don't want loads of ribbon because it's going to come off here. It's going to be quite bulky. So I tend to do like one strip of ribbon and a really nice bow. And then my others I'm going to do with elastic. So I've got three different sections, three lines with those holes. So I'm going to do that with elastic and the ribbon. You can add more if you wanted to. You could have multiple pages and one. You can make these really thick and add to them as you go so that's perfectly fine to do and you can just add more elastic um, as you go as well if you needed to but I'm gonna attach all these now and then we'll come back when it's finished Okay, so I've just finished adding all my pages. So I've got um, my front and back page that I've done with that elastic. So I just pop the elastic through the center there. And then this center bit that I've just done with the ribbon and I've got a nice little bow on the side there. So you can see how that's kind of come together really, really quickly. The only thing that I wanted to add um, again inside is using that ATC, uh, actually not using the ATC die, I will be using it for a little bit, but there's a section on this uh, big die that you have this kind of pocket element. And I wanted to create a little pocket for um, an image on the inside. So I'm just gonna fold these over. So these just fold over so you've got little score lines. And I'm just gonna attach that again with hot glue. You can use tape or whatever you like. I'm just using the hot glue because it's nice and convenient and quick. And it's already set up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna place that down. Okay, and then I've got space to add in one of these ATC cards. So that is the size of that ATC card, kind of like a playing card. And then what I've actually done on the inside of my finished one is I've taken a picture of me and my partner, um, just cut it with that um, die, that ATC card die, and then I've popped our new names to be on the inside as well. And then I even did a little section for a pen that I'm gonna use. So that's literally just a piece of cardstock wrapped around the pen and then adhered with some glue um, just on this section here on the inside. So. Um, that's something that you can definitely add and you can add more pages or less pages but I thought that was really really cute. Now I did the letters using another Eileen die so I'm going to show you that quickly and I'm going to show you how I did it on the front as well. So it is a thinlets die so I'm going to put away my bigs die and grab this one and it's such a fun die. This is a tiled alphanumeric and it's a really nice large die but it does work on your regular machine so like your regular big shots things like that. And this is how it comes, all in one piece. And it's almost like a Scrabble tile letters. So you can pull it apart. So let's actually die cut one of these. I've got some silver shiny cardstock here. And I'm gonna die cut this. And what's fantastic about this die is you can use it two ways. So let's just die cut it and show you. I'm going to roll it back as well. Make sure it's cut. And then when we pull this away, loads of them have already fallen out, which is great because it saved me a job. And you want to save all these little letters because this is one way that you can do your letters. So you can have them um, using that kind of uh, pop out and you've got a little bit of a smaller letter choice. So save all of these. I'm actually going to use them like this for that wedding planner. But another way that you can use this is let me just take some scissors just to start getting to this little section. 
but once you get to those serrated bit, you can actually just tear along these serrated edges in between every letter and then you can just pop them out. So let's just tear that off. Let's get that A out and you just pull along. I was really skeptical because I thought, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to tear along that. But this is quite thick cardstock. This is a, like a foiled cardstock as well. And I can pull along there and you get this gorgeous little scrabble tile element which is so super cute and you can save all these so you can have two types of letters so you've got that scrabble tile element but then you've also got the kind of negative bit that pops out so there's loads of different options with this alphabet and you can just save all of these little pieces and then what i've literally done um along the front and on the inside is I've just taken these letters so I'm gonna get the wrong the wrong letters now but we can just pop them out so we've got our W wedding planner so you can just take all the right letters for whatever you're wanting to spell out you might want to spell out the date of your wedding or your names like I've done on the inside so that's something that you could definitely do and I just stuck it down with just some regular glue uh, you could pop some adhesive sheet on the back of the die before you roll it through your machine if that's what you prefer as well. Um, the only thing as well that I've obviously added to my finished one is these flowers. I'll just show you the die for reference. So I have used the floral clusters die from chapter one. I wanted kind of a modern, a big kind of floral. Um, so I've just cut that again with my kind of color scheme, my light blue, my dark blue, a bit of silver and a green, and I just place those on there. You can give them a bit of a sculpt with your paper sculpting kit as well. Um, but any kind of florals will do, but obviously I wanted to use one of the new ones and this one's actually got my name on, so why not use it for my wedding planet? <laughs> um, and then you've got all those sections inside. So the only little bits that I've added um, that I probably didn't show you before is I popped just a bit of the tab on here. So that's just a die cut piece of the tab as opposed to on here, I kept it plain. So that's again, completely up to you. I changed up the ribbon for a blue ribbon so it's really small touches that I've changed um, showing you guys how to pop it together but you can see how the final outcome um, all pieces together and you get that gorgeous um, personalized planner perfect for planning your big day or I don't know you've got another big event coming up or you just want a daily um, journal kind of planner then this is a really great thing to use so that's just one example of what you can make with these dies let me get some of the other examples because I had so much fun making all these different examples and what you can do with them. So let's grab a few. I've got them all in a box under here. <laughs> so obviously we started with that gorgeous wedding planner. Then here we've got one that is slightly thinner. So I've done a two spine one. I've chopped off that tab and I've done it as a craft journal. So we've got those Scrabble tile letters, the alphanumeric um, up the side. And I've even used the negative here. And then I've just popped some pictures from my latest holiday inside. Um, and then I've even used that ATC pocket here with some really cute travel quotes with that ATC card. So you can personalize these as much as you want and add whatever you want to. Um, I could even pop a ribbon on there. So that is that one. We've got this one, which is one of the super skinny ones. So this is one just with the one spine. Again, we've got that alphanumeric die. We've got the tab on here with um, a magnetic closure and this is kind of a craft journal so I've created loads of little pockets using stencil film we've got some cute craft quotes in there with those ATCs and then we've even got a little envelope where we can pop extra little bits as well we use some of the pattern paper as well on there um, oh, I'm dropping things now we've got one where I've actually covered the whole thing rather than having the spine showing, I've covered it using some of our texture roll. Now I'll grab that so you can actually use some more texture roll. So this is the brown, but I've got the gray here and I've embossed it using one of Eileen's um, 
embossing folders, which is the new tablecloth, and we've even got the letters on there as well. And you can pop as many pages as you want, just literally a little notebook. So that's another idea. This one's using the texture roll as well. So we've actually scrunched up the texture roll here, uh, give it that really nice distressed look, gone over it with some ink and give it that kind of old look. And then we pop some hinges and a little lock on there. Again, with that um, magnetic closure, a little pocket inside and all those pages. So that's definitely something you could do. Um, here we've changed up the way that it works. So we've gone uh, landscape instead of portrait and we've just made it into a cute little card making caddy. So you've got your place for your little cards, you've got your pens, and then you've got a little section where your envelopes go. And this is actually the tab just slightly raised with uh, some foam tape there. So that's definitely an option. I've even popped a little decoration on the back of that one. So again, completely personalized to you. Um, I'm just gonna grab a couple more just to show you the different closures. Uh, we've got one here, which is again, a travel journal. Tell I like traveling. I use most, <laughs> most of mine are like travel journals or scrapbooks or something like that that I wanted to create. So this is just using a little button and a thread uh, that just ties around. And we've got a little notebook. This actually comes in the die set as well. It's like a 3D pocket. This comes on that big um, frame pocket journal die. And we've got a space for our pen to keep all our notes and things. And then you can pop like tickets in there or something like that. Super, super cute. And then last but not least, using an elastic closure we've got one that closes like this so we've actually got our button on the side a bit of an elastic and you just pull that off and then you've got all your sections inside so you can use really nice fun pattern paper we've got that um, ATC card with a tab there loads of different things you can do but it just goes to show from one die how many different things you can make and how different they can all look. So we'll just literally get a few up here. Like how different do they all look in comparison to that one that I've shown you at the beginning um, for that wedding planner? Obviously you don't have to just make a wedding planner. It could be so many different things and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Um, if you want more inspiration, I'm sure we can share it with you here over on our Sizzix uh, channels. But I know also Eileen and all of her lovely makers uh, post loads of content surrounding what they're making um, with these journals and with Eileen's new, new dies. So um, if you're interested in that, then definitely go over and check those out. Um, but I think that is everything from me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you in the next one. But until then, stay safe and keep crafting. Thanks. Bye.